Coming to the third problem, form the pair of linear equations for the following problems and find the solution by substitution method. The first bit given to us is the difference between two numbers is 26 and one number is three times the other. Find them. So let us work out this problem. Let the two unknown numbers be x and y. So according to the given problem, the difference between the two numbers is 26. That means x minus y is 26. Also, one number is three times the other. So I can write x is equal to three times of y. This be equation number one and this be equation number two. So substituting equation number 2 in 1 we get so in in place of x we can substitute 3y so 3y minus y is equal to 26 3y minus y is nothing but 2y 2y is equal to 26 that implies y is equal to 26 divided by 2 so 2 goes in 26 as 13 that gives y is 13. Now substitute the value of y in equation number 2. So this becomes x is equal to 3 times of y which is 13. 3 times of 13 is 39. Therefore x is equal to 39. So the solutions of the given linear equations are x is equal to 39 and y is equal to 13. Coming to the second bit, the larger of two supplementary angles exceeds the smaller by 18 degrees. Find them. So let us work out the problem. So let x and y be the angles it is mentioned that they are supplementary we can say that x plus y is equal to 180 degrees also the larger of the two supplementary angles exceeds the smaller by 18 degrees so i assume x be the larger angle that means x is equal to y plus 18 so we can write x minus y is equal to 18 degrees so this this is equation number one and this is equation number two so x is equal to y plus 18 so substitute the value of x in equation number one substitute x is equal to y plus 18 in equation number 1 so in place of x let us write y plus 18 y plus 18 plus y is equal to 118 so y plus y is 2y and let us transpose 18 to the right hand side this becomes 2y is equal to 180 minus 18 that implies 2y is equal to 162 so y can be written as 162 divided by 2 which is nothing but 81 degrees. Now substitute the value of y which is 81 in equation number 1. So x plus in place of y let us write 81 is equal to 180. So we get x is equal to 180 minus 81 therefore x is equal to 180 minus 81 is 99 degrees therefore the two angles are 99 degrees and 81 degrees coming to the third bit the coach of a cricket team buys 7 bats and 6 balls for 3800 rupees later she buys 3 bats and 5 balls for 1750 rupees 
find the cost of each bat and each ball. So well, let us work out this problem. Let us assume the cost of each bat is equal to rupees x and the cost of each ball is equal to rupees y. So we can write 7x plus 6y is equal to 3800. Let this be equation number 1 and 3 bats and 5 ball. So we can write 3x plus 5y is equal to 1750. Let this be equation number 2. Equation number 2 can be written as 5y is equal to 1750. So 3x can be transposed to right hand side. We will be getting minus 3x. So y is equal to 1750 minus 3x divided by 5. So let us substitute the value of y in equation number 1. So we will be getting 7x plus 6 times of in place of y we can write 1750 minus 3x divided by 5 is equal to 3800. So the LCM is 5. So 5 multiplied by 7x plus 6 times of 1750 minus 3x is equal to 3800. So 5 multiplied by 7x is 35x plus 6 multiplied by 1750 is 10500 plus 6 multiplied by minus 3x is minus 18x is equal to 3800 multiplied by 5. So 35x minus 18x gives 17x plus 10500 is equal to 3800 multiplied by 5 is 19000. So transposing 10500 to right hand side we will be getting 17x is equal to 19000 minus 10,500 so 17x is equal to 8,500 that implies x is equal to 8,500 divided by 17 so which is nothing but 500 so the value of x is 500 let us substitute the value of x in equation number 1 that means 7 times of 500 plus 6 times of y is equal to 3800. 7 times of 500 is 3500 plus 6y is equal to 3800. 6y is equal to transposing 3500 to right hand side we will be getting 3800 minus 3500. This gives 6y is equal to 3800 minus 3500 is 300. So y is equal to 300 divided by 6. 6 goes in 300 as 50. So y is equal to 50. Therefore y is 50. We have already found the value of x which is 500. x is nothing but the cost of each bat. So cost of each bat is equal to rupees 500. Y is nothing but the cost of each ball. So the cost of each ball is equal to rupees 50.